What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and you're watching the Get Me Out of Here vlog. Behind me is the oldest bar in the state of Nebraska. This is Glur's Tavern. Now they say this is the oldest continuously operating bar west of the Missouri River here in the United States. And it got its start in 1876. There were two Swedish brothers named Joseph and William Butcher. And when this opened here in downtown Columbus, Nebraska, this was known as Butcher's Saloon. This is where a lot of the old West pioneers, cowboys came to get their drink on. Well, in 1914, a man named Louis Glur, that's what the tavern, that's the namesake now, Glur's Tavern. In 1914, Louis Glur purchased this bar from William Butcher and named it Glur's Tavern. And in 1975, this was put on the National Historic Register here in the United States. So today, I'm going to have a beer at the oldest bar in the Cornhusker State, the state of Nebraska. Now, it is a goal in my life, and it's a random one at that, but a goal in my life, one of my goals, is to have a beer at the oldest bar in all 50 states of the United States. I've knocked out a few, um, Iowa, Illinois, Colorado. I've, I've got videos of those as well, and I wanna, be, I wanna make this into a series. This is gonna be a series Hopefully someday 50 videos at all of me drinking a beer at all 50 bars. Um, this today will be Nebraska. So I'm excited to come here and knock out a beer at the oldest bar here in the state of Nebraska, Glur's Tavern. Well, cheers, everyone. This is a Thunderhead Peach, a brewery in nearby Kearney, Nebraska. It's like a peach cream ale. So cheers from the oldest bar in the state of Nebraska. Oh, that is good. It's very smooth, not overwhelming. The peach flavor is not overwhelming at all. This is a perfect blend. Uh, the name of the beer, the brewery is called Thunderhead, and it's a Nebraska brewed beer. This is excellent. Cheers. You know, they say here in Glurs, the night can become a blur. Here at Glurs. I don't want to get blurred at Glurs. I still have a drive to make. Loving the interior architecture here. It definitely feels like an old saloon, and it's very well preserved. If these walls could talk, probably, probably a lot of wild stories from the Old West. Of course, being here in Nebraska, everyone is Nebraska Cornhusker fans. So Forever Red, you can see the sign there. And there is no place like Glur's Tavern. Welcome to, to Nebraska's oldest tavern. Lots of taxidermy hanging on the walls and love the, the checkered tablecloths on some of the tables, not all of them, but some of them have There's also a lot of old beer advertising and memorabilia the state of nebraska there with a football coors beer and a lot of boulevard brewery signs here as well uh, boulevard is brewed in nearby kansas city missouri it's not too far south of here i just noticed this deer has a crown on its head not really sure why it's got a crown but the deer there has a crown there's a lot of photos of hunters holding their kills. But I noticed this one right here is a picture of a man and a giant tortoise right there. So I, I don't know the backstory behind that. The tortoise looks very much alive and well. But other than that, a lot of pictures of hunters with their trophies aligning the walls. They've got this classic arcade table game. I grew up playing these a lot as a kid in the early 90s. Pizza Hut, especially, I remember playing these at Pizza Hut, but I always love seeing these at, uh, at old bars and establishments. It's a blast from the past. And there's another Cornhuskers football sign right there.
And in the back by the main bar, there's a cooler full of local Nebraska beers. We'll definitely be trying a few today. And they also have old style. Shout out to Chicago, go Cubs. And they've got some Schlitz here in Lone Star, which is typically brewed in, and I, I have actually never seen that outside of the state of Texas. So that's kind of cool that they've got Lone Star here as well. So a lot of Nebraska and other beers from uh, different parts of the United States and the world too. They got Guinness and some other European drafts as well. So this is really cool. Great beer variety here at Glurs. And the bar is, it's, it's almost like a, a kitchen at home. It's very homey feeling. You got some snacks, some t-shirts there for the oldest bar in the state of Nebraska. And a couple taps here as well. And uh, they've got, I guess, some, some drafts in the refrigerators there too. So it almost feels like a kitchen like I'm at grandma's house. And then uh, she is making the burgers currently. And they, uh, supposedly they have really, really good burgers here. So we're gonna try those in a second. Well, Connor, cheers. We both have cheers. Nebraska brews. Cheers to the oldest bar of Nebraska. Oh, very good. Now you got a, what's the name of your beer here? I got the Barn Burn Amber from Prairie Pride Brewing Company. The Barn Burn Amber from what is that? Prairie, Prairie Pride, Brewing, Prairie Pride Company. Brewing Company here in Nebraska. So a lot of great Grand Nebraska Island. brews. Oh, brewed, in, brewed in nearby Grand Island, Nebraska. So mine's from Kearney, his is from Grand Island. Both great cities here just off Interstate 80. Finally got another bottle cap. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're not gonna judge you. These look delicious. <laughs> so these are the famous Glurs fries that they serve here. They kind of look like a, like potato skins. Are they good? Oh, perfect. They are known for uh, burgers and these special Glurs fries that look kind of like potato skins. Potato skin chip kind of fries. Well, here we are. These are the famous Glurs fries and we've got some Lori's seasoned salt on these as well. That's, uh, I guess, what you have to do here in Nebraska. So um, without further ado, let's pop this bad boy in. Hmm. That's very good. <laughs> these, these are awesome. Mmm. They're like potato skins, but really with that, that seasoned salt, they really pop. These are fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. No, they're great. Yeah, they're great. Chewy, crispy, I'll, I'll eat them either way. <laughs> These are fantastic, truly unique. You can't say I've ever had these before, so. Yeah, a unique feature here of the oldest bar in the state of Nebraska. So I've got one of their famous burgers right here. This thing is juicy, it's thick, and this is Nebraska. Nebraska is known for their cattle, their steak. They've got uh, some of the best steak in the world, in my opinion, in Omaha. So uh, I, I know this burger is not going to disappoint. It's got grilled onions underneath the patty as well. So bon appetit. Mm. Mm. This is phenomenal. So if you don't even like beer, come to this saloon for the burgers. These are the real deal here in Nebraska. A state known for excellent meat. Mm. That is, this is one of the best burgers I've ever had. This is excellent. I wish it was bigger. I think you can get them bigger too. This is, um, I just went with a single patty. You can get double patties here as well. Fantastic food. Now, one thing I failed to mention is they had a famous patron here back in the late 1800s, Buffalo Bill Cody, a, a cowboy, a Wild West frontiersman, and also a showman, a very famous showman that, that traveled all over the United States performing his Wild West show, including at the Chicago World's Fair of 1893. Buffalo Bill actually loved this place. He used to come to Glare's Tavern back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and would buy drinks for people. 
here at the bar as well. So they, they, uh, this place was famous back in the day with Buffalo Bill. So some more unique history here at Glur's Tavern. I want to enjoy the beer at the bar, but there's a really loud TV. So I keep walking over here to not mess up the audio. But anyway, this is my second beer. This is the Barn Burner. This is from Prairie Pride Brewing Company here in Grand Island, Nebraska. So let's try this. Oh, that is really, again, this is an amber. This is a red amber beer. This is fantastic. So Nebraska, not a state that I know much about beers, but they have a great microbrewery scene here. I'm impressed, very good. Two beers that are excellent, made here in Nebraska. Now I know there's still a lot of old bars, saloons and taverns serving drinks in the American West, but here on the wall, the state of Nebraska, Governor James Exxon in 1972 has declared that Glur's Tavern here in Columbus, Nebraska to be the oldest bar west of the Missouri River. And below that is a plaque that says Beverage Analyst Award, Glur's Tavern in Columbus, Nebraska, first place, the oldest tavern in the West contest, 1972. Next to that, some more information on Buffalo Bill, some of his history, having gone through with his Wild West show in Columbus, Nebraska, and grabbing drinks here at Glur's Tavern. And next to me on the wall as well are some old photos throughout the years of Glur's Tavern. Wow, and look at this. This is a photo from 1899 of Glur's Tavern when it was called Butcher's Saloon. You can see all these guys. I'm getting a lot of glare. Let's see if I move over to the side. See all these old West, Wild West gentlemen standing here on the porch, right here at the front of the bar. And right there in the center is William Butcher. That is the original owner of this very bar. Back then called Butcher's Saloon, but now called Glur's Tavern. That is amazing. And this picture is just hanging here in the bar. And it looks, the building looks almost exactly the same. A bunch of gents having a good time on the porch. That is so cool. Looking up, I saw all of this Nebraska Cornhusker art and, and other art as well here across the bar. But this is, this is from back when the Nebraska Cornhuskers owned college football, the Tom Osborne days, 1994. And this, with this one here, 1995, when they won the national championships. And this, this is from back then, 1995. People celebrated here in this tavern and uh, wrote their names and colored on the ceiling tiles. That is amazing. So a lot of history ingrained, even, even more modern history here. And that says, uh, oh yeah, and, and volleyball too, but a lot of modern history as well here at the tavern. The Dozen Nuts, this was their volleyball team, the men's volleyball team here at the bar. Is that right? <laughs> Yeah, looking up at the ceiling, they've got art and autographs all over the ceiling here. That is really cool. That's another unique feature. I don't see that at a lot of bars across the USA. Our spirit runs wild. Loving this neon clock here. Glur's Tavern, established 1876. It's like something straight off of Route 66. They've got a Smokey and the Bandit movie poster here on the wall as well. What we have here is a total lack of respect for the law. It's a classic movie if you, if you haven't seen it. It's a must watch. Burt Reynolds. But what it was supposed to be, he put the uh, quarters. Oh, that's so cool. There's only so a couple of those in the world. Todd just shared with me that this uh, Coors artist actually added the Coors truck to the Smokey and the Bandit poster. I didn't even catch that, but there's only a couple of these in existence in the entire world. Classic Smokey and the Bandit film with uh, Sally Fields and Burt Reynolds and Jackie Gleason. Look at that, he's riding a Coors truck instead of his famous car. That's awesome. Well, I just learned I've been butchering, no pun intended, but I've been butchering the name. The original owners were William and Joseph Buker. Buker, not butcher. So I, I want to 
I want to say this now. I've been butchering the name. It's Bucher, not Butcher. Current owner here just uh, taught me this lesson. So I, it's Bucher. Bucher Saloon was the original name, not Butcher's. So if you're ever visiting here, don't make the same mistake as me. So Todd, the current owner, has been managing this bar and restaurant since the 1980s. And he told me that originally when he bought this place, the bar was only this front room. The original bar was only this front room that you see here. And where that wall, see the white wall ends and that plaster border, that, that, that wooden siding starts, that is all added on. So the original bar ended about right here where this basement door is and these two pillars. And then everything back here and over where the current bar is was added in 1987. So the original bar is actually here in this front room that's been in existence since 1876. Todd also shines some light. This photo here is of Louis Glur. I was calling him Louis earlier, so I butchered that name too. But Louis Glur, right there is behind the bar. He is the man that ran this place um, in 1914 and into the 1930s. He's standing about right here. On this back wall is where the one of the original bars was. So this picture is of Louis Glur actually bartending. And this is inside this very tavern. Pretty cool to see that. There's an old wood burning stove here in the middle of the room. And talking to Todd, this door here it no longer exists, but may have led to the basement, which is still in existence. That's where this door leads to now. So it may have led to this very basement that still stands. A lot of fascinating history here at Glur's Tavern. Talking to Todd, the current owner, um, how this bar survived prohibition. Now again, prohibition was when alcohol was made illegal by the United States government in the 1920s and into the 1930s. This bar actually survived by, by producing gambling games, cribbage and other games that, that farmers in the area could come and play. And they also opened up a kitchen during that time as well and were able to ride out the uh, Prohibition era. And then thankfully, um, I can't remember what year it was, but at some point in the 1930s, uh, Prohibition ended and alcohol was able to be served here again at Glur's Tavern. So some amazing history on how this bar survived the Prohibition era where a lot of bars throughout the United States didn't. This place is still floating on. Right there, just noticed above the refrigerator behind the bar, there's a picture of Buffalo Bill. <laughs> so one question I always ask uh, every everyone that works at one of the oldest bars or a historic bar in the United States is, is, is it haunted? Are there ghost stories? Uh, have you seen anything paranormal? I've just talked to Todd, the owner here, and, and he said he had one weird occurrence. He was walking, he was outside the bar here, outside this back door. He was, about to walk inside, he said he, he thought he saw somebody walk by right here. But, uh, but you know, whether or not, he said he looked around the bar, he looked outside, didn't see anybody, um, didn't really think much about it after that, but it's still something that he kind of thinks about every once in a while. Uh, he said he did have a bartender here that also thought that this place was haunted. She thought there was a, a ghost residing here at the bar, but, but any specific stories or anything like that, no, nobody working here has had a lot of encounters of ghosts. Uh, most of the people, including Todd, does not think that this bar is haunted. So is this place haunted or not? It's hard to say. It's got a rich history, a long history, dating back to 1876. But um, I myself don't have, any, don't have any weird feelings here. This seems like a really comfortable place, a very happy place to just sit down and have a few beers. Um, so is it haunted? Hard to say. But uh, according to the bartender and the owner, it is not. So who knows? Hard to say. Maybe I'll find out before I leave today. We're taking off now, Todd. Good to meet you again tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping at Nebraska's oldest tavern, Glur's Tavern. Glur's Tavern here in Nebraska. And in fact, uh, it's in Columbus, just outside of Omaha, about, an, what, an hour's drive? Hour, maybe? 15 minutes. Hour, hour 15, 15 minutes, hour and a half northwest of Omaha, Nebraska. Totally worth the drive. Todd, this has been an excellent experience here. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you. And definitely make it out. This is the oldest bar in Nebraska, and they got great food, great burgers, and great beers on tap as well. A great selection of local Nebraska tap beers. So we're going to head outside. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was a truly unique experience. Had an absolute blast here at the old saloon, the oldest bar and tavern in the state of Nebraska, Glur's. 
tavern. Before I left, I had to get one last souvenir, this t-shirt that says, last night was a glur. Last night was a glur. So with that, thanks for watching everyone. My name is Eric. This is the Get Me Out of Here vlog. And this has been a truly unique experience here in Nebraska. Definitely make your way out here. It's, it's a wonderful bar, a lot of history and great taps as well. So this is Eric again with the Get Me Out of Here vlog. It's time for me to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Pretty amazing that picture inside they had from 1899. All those gentlemen from centuries gone by were standing right here. Now this porch has been redone since then, but this is where they were standing, posing in front of what is now Glur's Tavern. But back then, William Buker, who was the owner at the time in 1899, would have been standing right there at the front door. Thank you.